It's interesting to me how organizations as innocuous sounding as a tax-exempt foundation can have such tremendous clout in determining the nation's politics and its foreign policy and its economic policy. It turns out that organizations, these big ones like the Rockefeller Funds and the Ford Foundation and uh, you know, these big tax-exempt megaliths, um, the general impression of them is that they do good works. I mean, they're, they're supposedly doing charity of some kind or educational projects. But boy, what a difference there is between that image and the reality when you look at some of them. They spend a great deal, if not most of their money, promoting certain projects, which although can, they can be described as philanthropic, are really very, very political in nature. The Ford Foundation in particular that comes to mind because although they spend millions and hundreds of millions of dollars supposedly um, to um, improve the social condition and the economic condition of, uh, of minority groups. When you see where the money goes, it goes almost always to very radical minority groups. They're not even minority groups anymore. They're radical political change groups, the ones that are trying to bring about uh, very destructive movements inside the United States. All of the radical um, um, Latino movements, and I'm not just talking about Latino, I'm talking about radical movements, like overthrow the United States, that kind of a movement, like cut off Texas and return it to Mexico. That's the kind of movement I'm talking about. And they're all funded by the Ford Foundation, all tax exempt money. And this has been going on for decades. And you come eventually to the conclusion that the directors of the Ford Foundation know exactly what they're doing. They're not making a mistake and continuing to make the same mistake for decades. They know exactly what they're doing. And what they're trying to do is to, uh, to divide America. They're trying to weaken America. They're trying to bring America down so she is no longer a powerful force in the world, so that she's reeling and she's kneeling and, and she can be comfortably merged with all the other nations of the world and she'll be willing to give up her, her culture, her uh, freedoms, her judicial system, uh, economic system, in gratitude in order to be saved from some kind of internal chaos and revolution and, and, and starv uh, being starved and so forth, starvation. And in other words, these people are deliberately trying to weaken America. So all of this is being done, not all of it, most of it is being done under the aegis of tax-exempt foundations. What a beautiful cover. But this has been going on for a long time.